What's up everybody? Today we're going to take a look at these North Star playing cards from James Howells and James Anthony and released by Magic World. This deck in the review is the Midnight Edition but it's also available in red and available as a limited coin edition which is a Midnight Black deck like these and along with that you get a special numbered coin which is limited to 450 in total. Straight off the back I just have to say that these are a marked deck so if it's this kind of deck that you like then this deck is just for you. So let's get down to a brief overview of these cards which seem to have been a big success at the Blackpool Magic Convention which is where I got my deck from after speaking to James Anthony over on the Magic World stand. So thank you to him for the deck. As I said before, this is a mark deck and it's quite a unique marking system in that the markings are hidden within the shadows on the deck back design. And once you see and know where the markings are, they're very easy to see and you'll know whatever, whatever card it is just from looking at the back of the playing card. So this deck is printed on a USPCC stock and because of that they handle beautifully just like any other USPCC deck would handle. And the deck is also inspired by World Travelers. And because of this, all of the court cards have a variety of adventure. Uh The court cards, they all have a variety of adventures on them, ranging from different people like Christopher Columbus to Francis Drake and even the moonwalker himself, not Michael Jackson. Neil Armstrong. Along with the deck itself, there's also a page on the Magic World website which has a section for some tutorials, information on the Facebook group, and also four routines from Mark Elson which are available on there. So how much do they cost? These are currently available on the Magic World website for £15 as a recording video, but they're usually £17 on there for the marked version of these cards. There's also unmarked red version which is available on the website for £8.50. So let's get started with the deck and the tuck case. It's a black case which features the large North Star logo on the front of the case and the text Midnight Edition underneath that. On one of the sides is a text saying North Star Playing Cards and on the other side is a sextant. On the bottom of the deck there's just some ad copy to say that they're designed by James Howells and manufactured by USPCC. There's also another North Star on the bottom too at the side there. On the tuck flat there's another star and also a quote which says stay up all night gazing at the stars. So this is what you've all been waiting for talking about those markings and if they're easy to read and see and the answer is they are easy to see and easy to read. Even at an arm's length, the markings are very clear and in the right light you could possibly extend that distance further and still see what cards someone is holding. The cards have a border design and within the border there's another border and then the cards have a black and grey style design which features two large circular designs in the middle. The markings on the card are in the top left and the bottom right so even in the spread across the table if you give it enough spread you'll still be able to see the black design and see which card it is. In the deck you get some additional cards so one of them is the double backer. You also get two identical jokers which say the words you cannot discover new oceans unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. You also get a neat little addition which is the, a look at all the court card designs and under each one has the name to say who it is. So if you're not familiar with many of the explorers like me who hadn't even heard of Eric the Red until I saw him on the card, well for the record he's a viking who discovered Greenland as I had to look him up, you'll be able to see all of the people and see exactly who they are. So looking through the deck the number cards look pretty standard and they've gone for the darker red to be used on the hearts and diamonds that I've seen quite a lot of decks recently opt for. All of the aces are personalised with the hearts, diamonds and clubs having a north star appear in the middle of the centre pip and the ace of spades has the text north star and a unique spades design in the middle of the card. All of the card cards are uniquely designed too and feature outline portraits of each person and in the middle of the circle in the middle of the design it features some text and states what each explorer is known for like Neil Armstrong's saying that he's the first person to walk on the moon. So how do they handle? They are USPCC printed, so like any other bicycle USPCC playing card, they handle really nicely. Seem to fare easily, spring nicely and have a nice feel when spreading through the deck and just overall as a deck, they're nice to handle, take any slides or shuffles that you want to throw at them. So can't really complain at all. So the conclusions, overall it's a really nice deck in terms of handling, how the deck looks, and of course those added bonus of those devious markings, which you can use for a range of mentalist tricks, predictions, or just about anything else you can think of with using a marked deck. So the first time I saw them at Blackpool, I couldn't see the markings, but once I was shown by James, I was able to see them. And now that I know where they are, I can't unsee them. Because of this, now the deck is now in my top five marked decks for sure. Hope you enjoyed the video. And when I get around to doing a top five marked decks video, it's definitely going to be in there. So keep an eye out for that one. If you got this far through the video and you're not subscribed, it'd be great to help the channel and give the, the channel a subscribe as we're nearing two and a half thousand subs, which is absolutely amazing. Leave a comment what you thought of the deck too. Until next time. See ya.